on this episode of That It Has Liberal Bias, I need to talk to you about superheroes. At least, they used to be superheroes, but Marvel decided to strip them of everything that made them super. When you go into your local comic book store, you'll notice that the almighty demigod Thor, the ultimate symbol of masculinity, is now a chick. And Captain America, the defender of freedom, justice, baseball, and apple pie, he's a black guy now. This is all because liberals have decided it's not good enough to have white, straight guys as heroes. Apparently being white, straight, and male is inherently bad. As a result, comic book characters we love have to change. <sighs> I hate change. What's next? A gay Superman? Are his crotch-emphasizing red underwear going to have to become assless crotch-emphasizing red underwear? That's what gay people wear, right? Are they going to make Hulk a midget? Oh, I'm sorry, little person? Is Iron Man going to start wearing a suit made out of hemp? You liberals are so determined to have all your groups and your types represent- and for what? It's almost as if you want our fictional heroes to represent the diversity of modern American life and give fans of all types something to look up to. That's dumb. You're dumb. <laughs> Let's just go full tilt and make a new superhero. Minority person. It will be a short, left-handed, Inuit, transgender, redhead, in a wheelchair, with Tourette's! Oh, and a minor nut allergy. Not enough to require hospitalization, but maybe a swollen throat. 